Okay, so you, you talked about, um, about being comfortable with your pistol, which I think gets overlooked a lot. Uh, there, there's a lot of discussion around the holster and, and being comfortable and carry, but I also think, man, like, there's some holsters that just aren't necessarily safe. What holster do you recommend for somebody carrying uh, from a safety aspect? What, we can talk about type of holster and brands if you have a recommendation. Sure. Yeah, there, there's basically three types of holsters that I utilize. Uh, obviously on duty in law enforcement, we're going to use one that has the highest retention level, uh, uh, you know, a level three or, or more. Um, but the safest is, is one that's going to contain the firearm. Um, what, one of the things that I'll show you here is I never like to hold guns without showing everybody it's safe. It's clear, <laughs> yep. no magazine, but for, for concealed carry off duty, uh, if I'm wearing a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and I want to do an appendix inside the waistband carry, I love this sticky holster. Uh, sticky holsters uh, are pretty cheap. Uh, I have two of them, one that I use on duty uh, that can kind of be concealed in a different spot, um, but they're very nice. They conform to the gun and it is very safe. So when you, when you look at the names of, of holsters, they're either going to be passive retention or active retention. Passive retention just means that, that, that the holster itself is going to hold the gun. But if I want to remove it, I simply pull it out. Uh, another example of a passive uh, retention handgun holster on a paddle holster, which this is a Phobos. I've had this for probably 20 years. You can see that it's not splitting, cracking, uh, very heavy duty. But this is also uh, a passive retention. So I can hold it upside down. I can run around with it. It's not going to fall out. But all I got to do is grab it and pull, and it comes out. I don't have to actuate anything. Mm -hmm. For on duty, and if it's in the winter time, if I'm going to go uh, to an event that, for whatever reason, I think might have a higher risk, and I want to up my retention, then I'll go with a level two or a level three, which this pedal holster is very similar to that Phobos, but it's, it's a uh, active retention holster so that when it's in there and I hold it, yeah. you know, it holds it itself, but I can't, I can't pull it out unless I actuate something. So with this one, it happens to be a thumb break and it's a little bit harder to do when it's not on your body because it's not holding that side in, but you depress the thumb break and then you get it out. So retention is also part of that mindset. And you have to understand that if you're going to enter into conflict, somebody else in that fight, because most of those occur at very, very close distances, you know, the, the TV shows where they're making 40 and 50 yard engagements uh, with a threat aren't realistic. They're going to be close. Uh, and eventually you're going to go hands on, uh, you know, people are going to close that gap and, and you're going to want to as well. Uh, but only to a certain point. You want to make sure that nobody can get that away from you. Um, so part of your training should also be how to use these tools for retention. Uh, safest overall is one that's going to be something that doesn't expose the trigger to outside elements. If you've seen uh, the fleece pullovers and, and some of the Henleys that have the elastic cords with the little plastic clip yeah, that you yeah. can adjust and, and tighten. Sorry about that. You're right. Uh, what you're going to run into there, and it's happened before, is that little clip hangs right about where your where your holster is, and when you go to put it back in, it gets inside that trigger guide and guard, and people actuate the trigger. Uh, I know police officers that have shot themselves right down the leg by doing that. So the safest one is going to be one that you uh, can get that firearm in and out, establishing your grip in it. You don't want to have to fumble with it once you've got it out. Um, the other thing on this sticky holster is that when you draw for whatever reason never place it back in so that if i keep this in my waistband i draw my weapon the first thing i'm going to do when i want to reholster is i'm going to pull that out yeah so then it goes back in and then the entire setup goes on a paddle holster or a, a belt holster obviously you can leave that holster in place and and uh, be careful putting it back in. But the safest one is going to be one that protects that firearm from any kind of accident of discharge, or that's going to end up in the wrong hands because it's easy to get during a struggle. Love the tip of pulling your uh, a fabric holster out because I just saw a picture the other day of somebody that shot themselves in the butt 
from the the cloth holster that was well worn and folded inward hit the trigger when they were uh, placing their gun back in the holster yep. and he actually shot himself i think that's really important that's a really great tip um now let's let's take that what you just said and and um let's assume a safe holster but what what types of holsters do you think conceal the best well honestly one that that hides the outline so conceal is something that that you're going to put somewhere that you can either cover with a shirt or you can cover with a coat you can put it into a pocket you don't want the outline of that firearm to be to be easily seen so uh, the thing i like about this sticky holster again is that it, it's flat it conforms to the gun and it holds it but it hides that outline so you're not walking around in a grocery store and having somebody look at you and realize there's a gun in your pocket um, or there's a butt of a pistol, the grip, I keep doing that, You're all right. uh, sticking out through the shirt. I think that's a good tip. I actually have a kind of a sticky, it's similar to that, and it's the same thing. It actually, um, right there, it, you know, it conceals uh, the, the shape really well. And it's it's kind of, I think it's similar to the sticky brand. I haven't used the sticky brand. This one is a uh, Blackhawk, um, but it, it fits in a similar fashion. Um, and, and it can, it conceals the shape of the gun really well. And, and I, I like, I too like that it covers the trigger and I'm not, I don't have to worry about a pocket discharge incident. Yeah.